You know, Jen, this week on Hitting the Road, you want to talk about pre-flight inspection. And I was nosing around here in the shop and I discovered Harley-Davidson, they even have a pre-flight inspection checklist for employees before they go out on a demo ride. Um, so you are a big proponent of T-Clock. Can yes. you explain what that is? Well, it's an acronym, so each letter stands for something, and like you said, it's a checklist. It's a great thing to get in the habit, and you can check all the steps off in your head mm -hmm. to make sure you didn't forget something. So this is something we're going to do every time we go for a ride? Absolutely. You can do a quick round if you've just stopped for a bit, but you know, a more thorough check um, first thing in the morning or once a week. Okay, yeah. so let's go through the, the uh, checklist. T. T stands for the tires. So you want to make sure that the inflation is correct, that it's not overinflated or underinflated because you only have two points of contact uh, with you in the road. So you right. want to make sure that, th I mean, that's hugely important. Absolutely. As well as check um, uh, tread and that there's no cracks in the sidewalls and things like that. Right. And when you do go to check those tire, pressure ga uh, tire pressures, make sure you have a good gauge, a good accurate yeah. gauge. Um, C. C, that's uh, cables and controls. So uh, your controls, like first and foremost, your throttle, you want to make sure you have quick returns so you can turn it, make sure you get the response back. Mm -hmm. um, your cables, you want to check, uh, make sure there's no fraying mm -hmm. uh, or wear in the cables. So visual inspection there as well as any leaking. Okay, we've got L. L, that's for your lights and that's hugely important as well. So your lights, you want to make sure that your headlights come on um, that is clean and free of debris. Right. I mean, that's a great time to check it over. As well as your tail light, make sure that that came on as a running light, but also that it engages so that when you use your rear brake, check it both. Your rear brake, it comes on. Your front brake, you apply that and see that it comes on because you want to make sure that you're not riding without a brake light. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, oil, uh -huh. right? That's right. Yes, yeah. that one. Make sure your oil levels are correct. Okay, another C. See, that's your chassis. So a visual inspection, make sure that everything is secure on the motorcycle. You know, your seat is in case you, you know, we're checking your tools. Some people's tools are located underneath the seat. Um, you know, that there's no cracks or, or anything that's happening there. Um, and just make sure your suspension as well. You said T-clocks. What's the S? S is your side stand. Oh, really? Yeah. You want to make sure that it returns properly. Right. So, uh, because a loose side stand is not a good thing, or that the side stand is up as well when you go to take off. Right. Pre flight check. T clocks. Thanks.